example, the Fitzherbert Bridge is the reason for the economic growth of Palmerston North, historically connecting to Wellington with the trade route. Palmerston North's new here Arakotahi Bridge and Pathways are due to open mid-year and like the Fitzherbert Bridge, are expected to play an important role in the economy for the city. We've got a number of underpinning programmes and plans that enable us to be an eco-city, but this is one of our big catalyst projects that, that helps us realise those goals. And like the city's famous clock tower, at night the bridges will be a spectacle of lights, which can change to match any event. The design of the bridge seeks to give the perception that the bridge is actually floating across the river, so it's really aesthetically pleasing and, and, and conducive with the environment. Almost $500,000 of the ambient lighting will illuminate both Fitzherbert Bridge, the new bridge and connecting pathways, keeping users safe. The choice of colours refers to local Māori history and has a particularly poetic vision behind it. Whilst there's been a lot of fights and deaths along the, the river, so, so we wanted to give respect to that. So the cycle bridge, the warmth of the cycle bridge, the heat of the river, the summer of the river, and the respect to the people who laid their lives is the story of the cycle bridge and the one side of the pathway. Celebration, happiness, winter, colourful, colour changing is the Fitzherbert Bridge and the Esplanade. So it's a, it's a complete loop that we designed. Built for walking and cycling, they create a link between Massey University and Central Palmy, cutting out almost 4k of cycling. Quick journey across on a bicycle is really, really conducive with the, the active transport that we, we're trying to roll out across the city. And the icing on the cake, a pathway dubbed Star Path made from luminous rocks. Uh, the, the Star Path is, is, is the first in Australasia. It's something that we're particularly proud of. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.